and welcome to a brand new series on the Patchworks YouTube channel. My name is Patrick, Tommy and Luke. This is the first video where we will be going on the process of modifying cars and going on track days. Today's video is very proudly sponsored by Tower Brakes. We're going to be fitting front discs, rear discs, pads, fluid, calipers and new OEM calipers uh, to the Civic Type R. Uh, stop. Hammer time. No, break, stop, oh, stop, yeah. stop. Oh. If you're new to the channel, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. Follow us on socials. Don't know about Luke, he did very rarely posts. Yeah, it's not great. But you can follow Tommy. Yeah, much more, much more. Rare. Much more fun, valuable. Follow content. me for memes. <laughs> Good, yeah. yeah. Let's do this! <laughs> The fantastic setup supplied by Tarox consists of Sport Japan rotors, Corsa pads, and Dot4 racing brake fluid. The Sport Japan rotors are perfect for track application due to the aggressive cooling properties designed for harsh driving in all types of conditions. For maximum performance and durability, every Sport Japan rotor is equipped with strategically positioned countersunk holes that do not compromise the structural integrity of the disc. This approach is more efficient than using a dimple as it allows the gas to exit the rotor surface and travel into the ventilation channels located at the centre of the rotor, keeping the nest cooler for an extended period of time. <laughs> Interesting on the Tarox uh, instructions that they've got a, a tractor mini for off-roading mini uh, capabilities. Mm. Sports pan. So, a few things to note about the car already. It is fully wrapped in a Yokohama livery, and that is because this video series is also going to be in partnership with Yokohama because Luke works at Yokohama, therefore, tyres for the car are from Yokohama. What are those tyres? They look great. Oh, these are AO52s. Okay. This is our road legal track day tyre, and we're changing these today to go on to an ADO9. 52 is very good at everything, but if you want to win on track, this is the tire to have. If it's more of a sportsman or just track days, you know, club events, stuff like that, then ADO9 certainly got its place. It's a really tiring subject, isn't it? Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Don't bother. He'll just throw yeah. them away. They're he's in had, the he's had, my car. He's had countless amounts of gloves from me. I've got them in the van and I've got them in the car. The places that I need them, not in the race car, because you've been selfish and bought your own. <laughs> he hit me the other day. Oh. With a <laughs> metal ruler. <laughs> <laughs> you know when spend sure where he gets the whip and goes. <laughs> yeah. And I wasn't expecting it, and I was like... <laughs> Basically shocking the screw, so it actually comes out. It's really screwed, if it doesn't come out. Actually, what's wrong with you making all these... Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's going to put the brakes on things if we can't get this off. <laughs> what just fell out of your mouth? Chewing gum. What's it? It's an animal. So the old brakes that are coming off are on pretty well. The boys just looking to get the backs off. Please. Not quite sure what are on here already because as we already spoke about, Luke is impatient. But he's done, we've done a couple of track days on it, been to the Nürburgring. So he's been, this is his third set of pads on it. And we are unsure he can't remember what discs are on it, but they're not OEMs. OEM calipers, but not OEM discs. And you can see some of the problems we've got. I think it will translate well. So we rotate it and then it sticks <laughs> and then it spins. So we've got some warping in here. You can see where the heat's gone out here. Um, it really isn't that much fun to be putting your foot on the brake pedal at the moment. Um, lots of heat cycles, lots of 
got extreme cooling, sort of extreme heating, and then obviously the cooling down the track days. So it's just a tendency if they've not been bedded in properly or they've just got way too much heat in them. Luke loves the brake pedal. He is the king of braking, whereas I'll stop just as quick, but not with the brakes. But maybe we will now when we've got good brakes on. So we're getting working, getting these off, and then we're going to change all the calipers because Luke's got a bit of a concern that one of the calipers are sticking. So we're replacing OEM calipers. Um, with the upgraded Tox setup as well. So let's go and see what the boys are doing at the back. Try and get those discs off. It's a big half. Oh, <laughs> that sounds on fire. I'm the fire starter. So we're having a slight delay because the rear brakes, the little screws that hold the discs into the hub are very well seized in there. So we're just trying to get those out, which is an elongated process. Uh, get the, yeah, th those ones, yeah? These, yeah. Right, we need a 13mm for that. Let's go get a 13mm. Old. Old pads of another manufacturer, uh, which have done two track days. Two? Two track days. Is that it? Um, they're disintegrated. Yeah, they're sort of... They're breaking up a little bit. Now, yeah, all the edges are like corroded. Yeah, so I don't know, I don't know. I'm not sure why that is, but yeah, it's doing it on, on both. So yes, we are hopeful that these are gonna be considerably better. The Corsa Pad is a great all-round pad. Although primarily intended for track day use, the pads can also be used to great effect for fast road use on more powerful cars. Corsa pads are still effective from cold and therefore give maximum performance at all temperatures. The high coefficient of friction gives amazing levels of pad fill and massive amounts of bite, yet they are not hard on discs like some track pads. Capable of withstanding temperatures up to 650 degrees, this pad has an optimum temperature range of 200 to 600 degrees. So these are, not sure what, but they are absolutely warped to death. They're wobbly. Beyond repair. Uh, so not particularly worn out, but they've just, they've got so much heat in them that they've warped, which you can see. And I'm not a brake specialist, but you can see what I've done to them. Obviously there's some big heat spots all the way around it really. Scarring on the back where the pads have been, yeah, digging in. So, yeah, as much as they're not horrific, they are undrivable. They're so warped, uh, can't carry on with them. There's some little cracks in there you can see there. So yeah, they, these are absolutely shot. <laughs> some pads obviously make sure everything's cleaned up nicely so for instance with this on the rear we were having a, a squeaky break at the back um, so make sure the sliding pins are sliding that was corroded so clean it out inside which I've used WD40 just to wash it out and make sure the seals are still okay and they're still watertight. Uh, so this one, I'm gonna give this a clean up, make it look like new again and make sure it's got no play in it and that it's going in and out as it should. Clean that one up now where it was all corroded around here. So we just cleaned it all up. So that's nice. It's got no play in it. Clean this hole up here and that just goes in nicely now. So then we've got to grease it up. But that's how it's supposed to be. It's never gonna get old. Oh, Daddy! All right, look at that. Hey. 
Luke, give us an update. Okay, so uh, distant pads are on, calipers are on, um, braided lines are on, nipped up. I know we've got to just, we're just checking everything and then we're going to bleed the brakes and then we're done. The Tarox Road Race Super Dot 4 Brake Fluid is a high performance brake fluid. Ideal for road and track use with a high boiling point of in excess of 300 degrees, suitable for almost all brake systems. What's Again. The between Jan ah! and <laughs> I think I've got the clench on camera. <laughs> We've bled the brakes. It's half past two. <laughs> we got here at 9.30. We've, We've managed, to, we managed to fit four brakes. We've had a challenge. We have. Oh, you make that sound like it was just distant pads. New calipers. New calipers. We did have to fit new calipers as well. And some of them were awful. And some of them were awful. So we're now in a position where we can put the wheels on the car because everything's bled. Excellent. And we've got some new tires to go on. Cut it with a sand on the straight You've... blade. Oh. You had one job. <laughs> Literally <laughs> one job. The black tarot stickers look great. Yeah, I here. quite like the black tarot <laughs> stickers. Yeah, I bet stickers. you do. It's three o'clock. It's not been straightforward, but the tarot bit has. So all jokes aside, yeah, it was a bit challenging. Some of the location uh, screws for the rear were a bit of a pig. Because we had new calipers, the way that the handbrake caliper, uh, the, the handbrake locating bit was all a bit of a mess and corroded. So it took some time to get the rears off. We've now got them all back on. Downs worked relentlessly, brilliantly. Me, Luke, Patch have helped to certain degrees. Some have helped, some have not, Patrick. Uh, I've literally done nothing. I've filmed some bits. No, it's been a team effort, it has been a team effort, but we're now done. So, still all around. it's all been bled, the system's bled. So as you see, we've got new uh, new calipers, front and rear, but most importantly, the Tarox discs and pads all round, along with the Tarox 4 dot, I think it was 4 dot, dot 4 fluid, that's all in system bled, done. What's going to be good is we'll get some bedding in miles into this. I think we've got a track day book for March the 25th to be confirmed. I think they've just said that now. If not, oh. it's definitely April. Yeah, definitely April 30th we've if got one. Um, yeah. But yeah, so the plan is, I suppose a bit of a, a weird lead through, but the plan is to do more track days with Tommy and Luke. Um, so they're actually joining the channel and the playlist. I haven't got a name for the playlist yet. I thought, you know, like... Um, the Grand Tour had like Carnage à toi. Yeah. I thought Trio on track was quite good. And you know how good my French spelling is. Bonsoir! So, yes, the plan is we'll do some track days and um, document those and obviously document the process of modifying this car and hopefully in the future yeah. have some budgets yeah. allocated uh, to be building more than just this car and other track cars. Just a little bit away from Tarot, it's what actually might look like for like, Luke's put these AD09s on the front now. So we had 255, what were the other ones? 255, 40, 17. But what yeah, were, 50, 52s that were really wide, so we've got wide girls on here to make them, make us give as much grip. So these really just respond well to having a lot of grip up front, but what we were finding in the heavy corner, and as you can see, it's causes a bit of rubbish. Um, we're hoping that these ADO nines are a slightly narrower tire, it will still be at a 255. Yeah. Um, we shouldn't have some, so much rubbish, and they still grip really well. So that's another little nod to Yoki yeah, as well for that. Them. Luke, he's a Yokohama nerd, as well as working there, which is why it's a good job for him. So that's also gone on on the fronts. The rears are still the same, but they're not ADO nines. I can't remember what was there. Anyway, yeah. Professional video for Tarox brake installation. I'm going to get it. Here, give me it and I'll get it for you. Let's go. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I've been Patrick. This has been Tommy and Luke. 
expect some more videos from us in the future. Is that right? Yeah. Why not? That's the worst outro ever. <laughs> Really? Well, you speak then. Go on, I've done all of it. Yeah. You've done all of it? All of it. I've done all the He's fitting, the break. Everything. I've done everything. So, I've been big thank you for Tarox. Go on, Tom. Big thank you for Tarox for giving us discs, pads all round, along with the brake fluid. Also, a big shout out to 612, Yuri and the team. Thanks for letting us use the facility to get the car on the ramp. Uh, like, share and subscribe. And watch us install the exhaust next time round. Oh, nice! He's done this before. <laughs> Wait a minute, then what is outro? What's your outro? Bye! Shit, people, 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 that have the jubilee, have the jubilee, the jubilee, the jubilee. The three amigos. Okay. Breaking news. Nice. Hello and welcome. Yeah. Break. Okay, we're gonna. Hello and welcome to a brand Stop. new. Yeah? Have a time. <laughs> right, oh. take that off your head. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're gonna be filming a second episode today as well. Oh, that's gonna be exhausting. <laughs> oh, God! It just doesn't stop. <laughs> oh, Daddy!